Hey guys, and welcome to another GIMP Alchemist tutorial. Uh, sorry I haven't made one in a while, but um, I've had a pretty hectic schedule lately. But I figured, you know, since I couldn't get that talk show started, I haven't made a video in 600 years, and I, um, you know, just have been busy lately. I thought I could take a few minutes out of my schedule to, you know, make a video for you guys. Now, I had been thinking about what would be a good tutorial for you guys, and uh, I recently got Halo Reach for those of you who didn't... Uh, didn't realize that I'm gonna put my gamer tag in the uh, in the description, but anyways, I was thinking, what could I do to these pictures that I pulled off from Bungie.net to make them look cooler, you know, to give them more of a you know an effect? And then it hit me, focusing certain items, as in you know something close up would be clear and stuff in the background would be blurry. And I figured this is a fairly simple tutorial and. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. It's ridiculously easy. What you wanna do is you wanna open up GIMP and if you have it installed on your computer it'll say something like edit with GIMP and you gotta wait about 200 years for GIMP to start up. <laughs> Seriously, it, it it takes forever for those of you who haven't already figured it out. <sighs> oh and uh, I've been living under a rock for the past 500 years but um, you can, I found out how to make the background change automatically every now and then so I'm pretty happy about that what you want to do is you want to go to this uh, this drop thing looks like a teardrop or something along those lines and you want to get a fuzzy brush now if you use the bracket keys by P like in Photoshop you can press down on them and increase the size of your brush so you don't have to go here and scale it and do all that noise and you want to turn your rate up to about 69 <laughs> And now what you want to do is you want to find the object that's closest to the camera. Now, or the object you want to focus on. In this case, it's going to be the missile. So what you do is you click and you hold down and you just run this across. And you keep doing this. And you're not going to notice anything at first. But after you start doing it for a while and going over it a couple of times, it'll start to become a lot more clear that things are getting blurry, ironically. It'll become clear. <laughs> Get it? Um... Yeah, this is kind of a tedious process, and you won't really notice the change until you've gone over this a few times, but you will eventually notice this. It's more of like a before and after kind of thing, but I did it on another picture that I might show you guys, but I'm debating whether or not to, you know, to avoid uh, like copyright infringement and stuff like that. Um, but anyways, you just keep going over this, and you just keep blurring it over the background and like I said it you you're probably gonna have to do this for about five minutes straight before you really start noticing you know things like I can see like this is me right here this is my character and uh, as you can see this and the warthog in the background are starting to get a little more blurry but this takes just about forever but as you can see there is a definite change right now though I mean you can see that it has changed from the original. Like, let's let me get a before picture. Like, this is the before. We did any editing to it, and this after. And it may not look a little different, but if you're paying attention to the details of this, then you can really tell. And uh, sorry to cut you off on the tutorial short, but like literally, that is all there is to it. You just keep blurring and 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 blurring. Yeah, it it's it's tedious. Very tedious, but let me show you some of the applications of this. This is just Halo, but say um you know, where is that world of um it was a World of Warcraft um thing, so I'm gonna it's gonna take me a minute to find that. If I can find it at all. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh well, I don't know. I may actually, you know what I may do actually, if I can't find this, which I probably can, I'm just gonna give a showcase of some of the work that I've been doing recently. Um, let me see, let me pull some things up. There was that one, and then I made a couple other things. Got some pictures. I might. Um, I'm debating whether or not to upload stock photography to uh, DeviantArt. This is one of them I worked on. Um, not that one. That one's kind of funny though. This one's another one. Made this one like 
million years ago. Another one I worked on about a million years ago. And this is this is a wallpaper I made. It's one of the most recent ones. And um, if you guys want, I mean, just send me a comment if you want me to upload this to DeviantArt. This is my most recent one, although it is kind of stupid. If you get it, yeah. But um, anyways, um, I'm actually going to be uh, taking some requests and things like this. So, I mean, to know exactly what you want me to do, just send me a message, send me an email. I'll put my email in the description. Because the one through YouTube, though, I mean... I rarely ever check that thing, and that's probably the reason why I almost never update you guys' comments. I notice them until like 20 years after you guys put them. But if you guys have any questions, just send me an email because comments are usually not the best way to get a hold of me. And um, I will see you guys whenever um, I make my next tutorial, and uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic day.